Hello, my name is Calvin, Specification Manager here at Rhino. We've recently been involved with a scheme here at IKEA Hammersmith, working with BDP Landscapes to develop the specification for the substructure of the paving support. We needed to understand everything from the initial concept of the overall scheme in order to develop the correct substructure. What was really interesting with this project was with so many complexities, everything from low height buildups right through to the larger voids. There was so much that we had to contend with, everything from planters being on the top of the paving through to planters being inset into the paving. We had to understand the interface details of buildings and various facades and abutments. We also had to incorporate the likes of street lamps into the overall paving space. We had to go through a lot of collaboration between BDP and then also the contractor, Greenside Landscapes, in order to ensure that the overall substructure and the end result was going to be what we needed to actually fulfil the overall vision of this scheme. But what's interesting is to see the way that the actual paving has been incorporated and set out from this street lamp position. Making sure that the street lamp is exactly halfway between the two pavers made that incorporation of that street lamp very, very simple. If it was to be in the centre of the tile, say here, it would have been a lot more complex for the contractor to actually be able to install it. If we take a look here, we've got a planter interface. And what's really important is to ensure that the paving is retained within the overall structure of the lattice system. And what we'll notice if we were to take a really close look down the edge is that that 10 to 12 millimetre perimeter gap is maintained by the side and end stops that are fixing onto the actual rails themselves, holding the pavers in place. So some of the other challenges that we faced here at IKEA Hammersmith was the likes of having to incorporate an access ramp into this resident's home. In order to be able to do that, we had to work with the TerraSmart rail system because the lattice structure gives it the ability to cater for the lateral loading that is required for the ramp application. So something else that we had to consider was the expansion and contraction of the overall building. Because of the large complex that we're on today, uh, there was a lot of expansion and contraction that had to be considered the movement of the actual building itself. That took a lot of coordination between, again, BDP and ourselves in order to make sure that the paving was able to expand and contract and that there wasn't going to be the gaps opening up that would then cause a trip hazard. So for that particular application, if we take a look down here at the floor now, what we've got is we'll see this aluminium profile. The aluminium profile itself is actually covering the expansion joint. Now if we look to the right hand side of the pavers here, what we're going to notice is that this side is actually completely independent to what is on the left hand side of the profile. And that means that the paving can actually expand and contract, but the gap isn't going to open up and cause a trip hazard because of the expansion profile. This is a really key detail and in some instances there are also spaces where it's going to be expanding and contracting into, in two directions. We also had to consider the change in different paving types. For example, on the right hand side here, we've got concrete pavers. And then on the left, we have the porcelain tiles. The concrete pavers being 50 millimeters thick and the porcelain just being 20 millimeters. So therefore we had to ensure that the substructure was able to cater for those different heights. And that was something that was really important to take in again from design stage and being able to achieve the low height of the overall support. With the Terra Smart Rail System, we're able to achieve a minimum support height of 55 millimeters. The roof construction that we have here is what we would refer to as an inverted roof. The insulation is on top of the waterproof layer. And what that means is that in order to hold that down, we needed to have adequate weight to stop the insulation actually moving. That's why we opted for the Terra Smart Rail System rather than the Terra Smart Pedestal System. When we're working with rails, it means that we're able to work with that double rail and create a complete lattice structure, which is then able to distribute the weight across all the insulation and hold it all in place and stop that movement occurring when water flow goes through the pavers onto that waterproof layer. That additional weight of the overall system as well helps to hold that down and ballast everything into place. The system that we're working with here, the TerraSmart rail system, is part of the IGNO range. IGNO gives you that higher level of compliance. It gives you that mark of assurance. Wherever you see the IGNO mark, it means that you can immediately identify that A1 or A2 fire classification, coming with that 30-year warranty and 60-year design life.